Today we're going to talk about the steps involved in bank reconciliation within Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012. Bank reconciliation is the process of reconciling the bank account balance received on your bank statement with the balance of your bank account within Dynamics AX. Bank reconciliation takes place within the Cash and Bank Management module and we do this by navigating to our bank account list page and selecting the bank account that we want to reconcile. Once we've highlighted the bank account we want to reconcile, we click the Account Reconciliation button from the taskbar. This opens the Bank Statement window and on here we're going to enter the bank statement date that appears on our bank account, on our bank statement. In this case it's June 30th and we're going to give the bank statement a name. The currency defaults from the bank account and we know from our bank statement that this account has an ending balance of $11,808,000 $221.84. Once we've entered this, we can click the Transactions button and this will list all the transactions recorded within AX for this bank account. I should say it records the unreconciled bank accounts or the bank transactions for this account bank account because the reconciled ones would be appearing on a different bank statement. It's important to note that it's not possible to reconcile any transactions that have a status of pending cancellation. So if you have any checks or deposit slip payments that are currently in that status, they're not able to be reconciled. Now you can reconcile them once your reviewer posts or rejects a check reversal or deposit slip payment because in that case the statement status of those transactions is no longer pending cancellation and therefore you can reconcile those transactions. So from this bank statement we know that we can see that these the following transactions have cleared. A deposit from May 17th for $100 and that's this first transaction so we're going to mark it as cleared and also a deposit from May 19th for $100 we're going to mark that as cleared. And we can see that even after marking these two transactions, our balance is off by $90. Actually, when I navigate to the next line, we're off by $10. And the reason for that, we can see from our bank statement, there's a missing transaction within Dynamics AX. And that missing transaction is a bank charge for $10. And since this hasn't been recorded in AX because we did not, we're not aware of it, the bank is just telling us now we are going to create this new transaction. And we click a transaction type and this is a, we're going to call this uh, bank fee. The date defaults to the statement date. And we're going to enter this. We can see from the statement it's a uh, decrease of ten dollars and as we tab off that line you'll see that the unreconciled amount now balances unreconciled amount is zero and at that point then the reconcile button becomes enabled you can see down below in the screen uh, within each of these types you can total up deposits checks bank fees and stuff um, which your bank statement may have this information so it makes it easier for you to compare if your numbers are off. Um, I also want to point out that if you have a large number of checks you could use the mark check interval option to clear a large range of checks so if we had you know 100 checks in a row we could clear them in this manner. We also have the ability to go back to the voucher 
that was the original creation of this transaction as it flowed into the bank module and we can uh, from that also navigate back so that we can see exactly where this transaction looks like it came from the customer side of things and we can see what the GL entries were on that I'm going to close that down we can also elect to print the reports we can print the reconciliation summary or the bank reconciliation report but what we'll do now is click the reconcile account which will actually mark all of these transactions as you can see the account has been reconciled and now as we close this you'll see on our bank statement it has a reconciled date of July 13th again we can take the option to print the reconciliation summary which will show you all your cleared and uncleared transactions or we can also elect to print the bank reconciliation report we're going to close this down and we are going to highlight our bank account that was just reconciled we're going to click the transactions and we can see that this newly created transaction this ten dollar bank charge um, now appears in the list of transactions for this bank we can also see that the GL account affected our bank fees expense and bank account USD and so if we go to general ledger main accounts and we'll look for bank fees expense posted transactions we can see that our ten dollar offset is here and likewise if we view the transaction origin we can see that the offset is the minus ten dollars and this concludes our steps in reconciling a bank account within Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012